Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the new look, high octane, um, yeah, Adventures in Rust, with, with now stuff at the beginning and stuff at the end if you get that far. Um, yeah, I, I got bored because um, her indoors went to a party, um, you know, one of those parties where someone turns up and tries to sell you a load of shit and, and then people get drunk because they're at a party and then they spend lots of money on shit they don't need uh, or want but of course uh, it's no problem because my girlfriend doesn't drink so there was absolutely no chance of her having bought anything so anyway um i got bored whilst she was there because obviously muggins is the the taxi driver uh so i i dicked about and made a really poor quality zero budget intro and outro thing because um that's what youtuberists do do they i don't know anyway uh today you find me on the ambulance woo um except i'm recording this at the end of the day so i already know what happened which wasn't great uh well not, i mean horrendous but not great um i've had better days i've had worse days uh, i'm not disheartened um but there was a small fire um turns out really old school wires that that you know with um like insulation that is fucking cloth or whatever the hell it was it ain't anymore uh so there, there was um an amount of smoke escaping from the wires uh which you know there's been quite a lot of that going on up here lately um so that will need fixing obviously um but anyway you know it's it's been a reasonable day uh so the things can only get better right so uh, i'm gonna go and get some more bits in the week in the coming week and uh, hopefully i can remedy the fire situation and the ignition situation uh and then finally hopefully get it to burst into life uh so enjoy what happened earlier even though you haven't seen it yet so for those interested in the daily bird shit count on the car it's also um seemingly we've we've had and you can't really see it um appears to be covered in saharan shit but um anyway so yeah bird shit more bird shit bastards 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 this one's impressive it's actually um it's actually gone in behind <laughs> the the chest bastards why can't they leave my car alone? I think, to be fair, is that it? Is that it? I think that, oh no, there's a little bit this side. Yeah, so, of course it's a bit, um, it's a bit warm, so I'll have to, uh, I'll have to give it a wash over later. Uh, and get the latest round of shite off of it. Seems to be a, a recurring theme of wiring issues with various things. Um, this I kind of expected, it's the ambulance. Uh, it had no feed to the coil, so I rigged up a 12 volt feed, independently of the ignition. Uh, spun it. Um, contact breakers were indeed breaking as they should, and then the wiring caught fire off the condenser. Um, so I shall have to strip that out and have a bit of a look. Access is not great. Uh, that is uh, not the best looking rotor. Where did you get a rotor? Probably should have got a rotor. available from Charlie Wares or some such. Uh, one would hope. Come on. 
and uh, if that one's burnt as well, it could be that, um, to be fair, the coil looks, I think I replaced the coil um, at some point. The condenser doesn't look horrendous. Um, but of course looks, as we all know, can be deceiving. Um, gotta be so careful with this. Because it's just so easy to lose stuff. So yeah, that's uh good anymore but I mean to be fair it's old school fabric wrapped so um, <laughs> it could well be that the fabric because yeah that is uh, yeah that, that could be an issue could be an issue so I think at this point we'll get the uh, So, let's see if we can persuade the plate off. It's been so many years. Um, since I even touched anything with points. Uh, well, you know, they're much petrol, to be honest. I don't really do petrols anymore. Everything's diesel, isn't it? Probably get light as well because it's getting quite a uh, scene at the minute. Also, the stench of rat shit doesn't really uh, benefit your afternoon. Save that and the washer. I'm getting half reasonable at this shit. So, that's the points. Which, I mean, to be fair, don't look bad. Um, I'm gonna kind of reassemble this just uh, so I don't lose all the bits because there's. Uh, a great potential for losing everything. Um, I think from memory So yeah, that wire doesn't look pretty. It's part of the base plate. Um, it's crimped on, so I could uh, I could replace that wire at least without disturbing the base plate. One would hope. Um, right, so if I put the screw back in again, avoid losing it. Um, don't know if I have another distributor actually for this. If I try and persuade the little screw in, I mean, rather than dropping it, that would be nice. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, that being um, it will not be running today. Um, unless I can find some random bits. I'll have a look 
round because I might have. I seem to recall I did have a spare dizzy for this. Um, but then that was a long time ago, and God knows. Uh, that could be anywhere. Could be on the moon by now. And I think that condenser's probably bought it. Uh, well, again, I mean, it looks. It's kind of new. Um, that wire, I think, is probably cactus. That one. But I can't. It's too dark to see. Uh, and. Again, I mean, to be honest, the cat needs a clean up, but that don't look bad neither, considering it's been sat here for Christ knows how many years. Uh, so, yeah. And I think it might want a coil, I don't know. Let's so have a good look. Let's get a spark out of it. Another set of points. I think they're, um, past their best. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's see if we can find a dizzy. If it's got any of the wiring on it. So, the earth strap has fried. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle between light in it and. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's fried. However, I can replace that, I think, without taking the uh, the uh, plate thing, wait, plate, whatever the fuck it is, the advanced plate out. So that should be good. Um, the coil is it's a bit buried. Uh, it won't fucking focus. Focus, yeah, brick. It won't focus. But anyway, it looks um, like it's past its best. Uh, but then it's been sat there a long time. And then there's this junk, so uh, the the little earth strap thing that goes in the top of the dizzy that then takes the bits away, um, take the, takes the current away, uh, doesn't. The rotor, um, and I'll be honest, for an old, old rotor, Lucas, you know. Um, so I think I'll get a set of points and a condenser. And a rotor arm if I can get one. I'm kind of hoping. I, well, I can either repair that or hopefully get a new one. It's got to be one that. I mean, someone must still do dizzy caps or dizzy bits and stuff somewhere. Um, I think I might treat it to a new set of plugs as well. Because <laughs> they don't look great. So there's some plugs to get and a coil. Um, oh, God. <clears throat> All of which could be disheartening, but isn't. Don't care. Uh, I'll work through it. Um, so this would have started really easily before, but I have left it for such a long time. So I'm just going to have a quick look see in uh, the carburetor um, and see how that looks. The joys are getting old, man. The joys are getting old. Uh, I won't have a cigarette at this point. So there's a mighty one on half inch SU. Uh, I'll open this up for a lot. Ooh. It's actually still got some oil in the dash pot. Absolutely remarkable. Uh, I'm going to put my feet up. Tools and shit everywhere. Uh, I won't have a fag at this point. That might not end well. Um, God, I'd be amazed if this comes apart. I and mean, it's been a long, long time. cable there. Oh, prick. I mean, one would assume you can still get bits for these. Who knows?
Doesn't actually, oh hello, I knew it was escaping, but it actually smells petrol and not too bad in there. So that's, um, that's the needle. That I think from memory is a number six needle. I think it had a number five when I had it and we couldn't across the range, the rev range and load range. Uh, we just couldn't get the uh, the uh, you know the fueling right. So I think I'm pretty sure that's a number six needle, um, and the jet is it's a, a bit less than censored. But I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not too worried about any of that because it seems absolutely fine. Um, I would. Pull the and uh, that way. Gotta get, gotta, get it, gotta get it right. That way. I would pull the float lid off. However, I do not have a gasket on me. Um, I know I've got some at home. So before I, I will, I'll bring a new gasket rather than take that apart now. Um, but it still smells remarkably petrol-like in there, which, considering the petrol in it is thirteen years old, I guess isn't bad. But um, that seems okay. The lift pump, I'm less convinced by. I think that's probably uh, had its chips. Um, but I'd intended to replace the lift pump with a uh, electronic one, which I have somewhere. Like everything else for this, I've got lots of stuff um, somewhere. Uh, but all in all, all of this looks like it will run. Aside from a load of burnt wiring over there. But I'm pretty sure a quick visit to Charlie Wares will probably give me what I need there. Um, and then, yeah, sort out the rest of the wiring, so quite a lot of... I mean, the whole thing needs a rewire, but if I can make it work enough to fire the coil and whatnot, then uh, it's, it's been the most difficult restart this thing's ever had, because it usually just clean the points and it goes, but it has been sat such a long time. Um, but yeah, I will get some more bits and I'm pretty certain we can make this thing run um, well enough this week, hopefully. So I couldn't find a distributor. I did, however, find the uh, electronic ignition kit I purchased for this, I don't know how many years ago, uh, probably 30 plus, um, which is great. <laughs> So, it's got the power module, lovely. And I've never even opened the boxes, I've just had them for years. Um, it's got the rotors, so you've got a rotor for a four cylinder and a rotor for a six cylinder, which is what I'll be using. Except I might not be, because what's not in the kit? The actual, uh, the optic is, is not with it. Um, yeah, so that's, um, I'm guessing you can still get bits for these. I will have a look on the interwebs, but the actual, I should probably have checked the kit when I bought it many, many years ago. But yeah, so there's there's a bit missing. Um, I did find, uh, they've been in the back of this probably 30 years, but there's a coil and a, and a set of points. I don't know if they're any good. Um, so it might be that I repair the wire in and run with a set of points for the time being, see if I can get it to run on them, and then, unless I can get the optic for this, fairly sharpish. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for that, but it was quite a lot. So I was slightly annoying, because um, I, I could have bypassed all the burnt shit and thrown it in the bin and just used this, but sadly... Um, <laughs> Yeah, the, the important piece is missing. Um, Ho-hum. 
still, and it would appear. See, this is another reason not to put carpet over your engine cowling because it's it's worn away. And the little plate there that tells you what to do with the little gear stick back there. But to be fair, it's also on the gear stick, all of which needs overhauling because everything in here is um, pretty bleak. But, um, oh, that was my uh, that was my present from Vanster. Um, thank you, Vanny. Um, it's uh, it's one of those stick-on things that you you, well, you stick on things and then put your phone in it and it's lovely. Um, so thank you very much because he was sick of my rattles apparently. Um, if I can be buggered, I might go and take the car out in a bit and um, try it in there. So anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, yeah, not the end of the world. Uh, I mean, all we can do really is uh, continue on with it and make either old school or new school work. I might have another quick look around and see if there is another box of bits that goes with it. Um, cause I can't remember, but I'd have thought it would have been in with the power module or the, well, actually the rotors, because, you know, everything else for the rotors is in there, but not the actual optic, which is a bit disappointing. Um, so I'm going to have a look around and see if I can find another box. There might be another box a bit somewhere. Who knows? Uh, if there is, happy days. So having been for a rummage, uh, I could not find the optic for the luminition. So I'm guessing it probably never had it and I just um, didn't notice. Because uh, I never opened the packet. But uh, I found lots of other bits. Uh, including a, set, a complete set of inlet and exhaust springs. An oil filter. Um, various brake seals, which is quite handy, and uh, the set of cords, piston rings, remember them? Uh, for a 65 Austin. It isn't, it's for this. Um, this thing does have cords rings in it. Um, so, how good they are now, I don't know. I also found, this is... Uh, Frodo AM2s from 1987. Um, they're front brake linings. They're crap. They work once and then as soon as you put any heat into them, they don't work anymore, which is why uh, it had uh, AM4 competition linings, which got better the hotter they got. They work really well. Um, but, you know, asbestos, yada, 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 although I suspect they're probably asbestos also. But, you know, um, currently it runs Mintex M10 linings. Uh, which are crap, um, hence I need to do something with the brakes, but uh, I also found uh, it's been lit around for a, a, well, a long time, but um, you know, new old stock Dizzy Cat and a proper old school, never fitted, brand new but probably older than I am, uh, Lucas Dizzy Cap. Um, specifically for this and this this is the one that all of these had um, before all you could get was these i've also found proper switch various bits um oh i've got a uh, uh that I, i'm not sure that's actually out of an fg but um it was in with a bunch of fg stuff so um but if i can get an optic for the lumination kit then um you know all of that is redundant and uh uh, I can use the Lumination. Everyone's a winner. It should, I mean, it always ran really well anyway, but it, you know, it should it should run okay. So uh, happy days. And the, the, whilst I was clearing some some of the crap out from the passenger footwell, um, I found the little wheel. This is that little wheel um, that makes the door open and close and when some absolute prick broke into this uh, many many years ago to steal my mark II chopper out of it uh, they kicked through the this um, bulkhead door which was locked they damaged the door but that wheel had fucked off and I thought it had just vanished never to be seen again um, but I found it uh, so I've reinstated it uh, great it needs a bit of lube or something but um you know the door now works again properly which um Again, simple things for simple people, but you know, I'm really happy with that. So, did not get it running, obs, um, but 
you know, I'm not disappointed. I think it was it was it was a contained small fire that I dealt with quite quickly. Uh, it wasn't really a fire; it's just the the wiring loom went up. Um, uh, you know, it's easy enough to fix that. I think rather than trying to dick about with very old wiring that's clearly very crusty, I'll I'll make a temporary loom for the ignition system. Um, and just bypass all the rest of it and just run it straight from the battery with a kill switch uh, just to see if it will run and you know I mean this is not a complicated wiring system in this thing so it should not take long I mean granted I don't know where the wires go I mean they're disappearing in the body oh, God knows but you know I mean it'll be easy enough I think to make a loom up um, it'd be nice to get it out of where it is and give it everything a really good wash and clean out because it's um it's, it is pretty bad, and frankly, with the amount of rat shit down there, uh, lying down on it whilst tinkering with the engine is probably not good for your health. Um, so yeah, it all needs a bit of a clean out and whatnot, but um, I'm I'm still confident that um, I can make it run happily. I mean, the thing's got compression. I will get some new plugs in the week if you can still get them. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm happy that it will run. It will be okay. And given that I've found some brake seals that I didn't know I had, and the two I bought two brand new brake servos for this, because this um, it had one brake servo and the brakes were shit. So we put a twin set on, one for the front, one for the back. It didn't really make it any better, I'll be honest. Um, but I have two new ones. I say new. Uh, they've been sat in their boxes for. Uh, probably 30 years so uh, they're no good as they are but they're standard Lockheed ones so um, I'm fairly certain I can still get all the seals and stuff for them so if the bores look okay in them I'll re-kit them and chuck them on but again at the moment as long as I've got some sort of pedal and it'll actually stop on, on the brakes then I'm you know I'm, I'm happy enough because it's not going anywhere other than not where it currently is so I can tinker with it but um, you know I think uh I think it will be okay, and it's, I, it's the um, the near side engine cover, uh, which granted I painted very badly because I can't paint even back in the day I couldn't paint, but I painted that with old school hammerite. Do you remember when hammerite wasn't shit, uh, and there is zero corrosion crept into it, whereas everything else I didn't paint is uh, is all going a bit corroded. But um, everything is a bit corroded. It's going to need a metric shitload of effort, but. Um, I'm still quite happy with it, and I think, uh, like I said, we'll go and get some bits, uh, small bits, and some fresh wire that isn't insulated with fabric, and give it another go, and hopefully it will burst into life and sound as sweet as it used to. So maybe, um, that's the plan anyway. Um, if not, I will make it that way. Um, I'd imagine the exhaust is probably blowing like a bugger by now. I made the exhaust for this. Um... I think I was 14 or something, 15, uh, and I'm 42 now, so it was a long time ago, so I'd imagine the exhaust is probably not very good, but um, I'm, yeah, hopefully it'll sound okay, and um, uh, we'll continue on from there, and all things being equal, I think, um, I'm not quite, again, I'm not quite sure what's on this week, I keep, I, I should probably check my diary before I, I bugger off, but, um, if I get a couple of clear days, then um, sod everything else in the herd. I'm going to spend a couple of days on this and see if I can make it run uh, reliably and, and healthily sounding. Granted, not off the fuel tank. I've, I've got a rig I can set up and hang off of somewhere up here. Just gravity feed it for now. Um, I've also, I mean, there's a, a found oh, uh, a rebuild kit for the fuel pump, except. That is probably older than I am. So I'm not entirely convinced it's going to be any good now. Um, but again, as I think I said earlier, although I can't remember now because I'm old, uh, I intend to um, put an electric pump on it. Um, I've got a genuine SU one somewhere. Uh, again, don't know where. Can't can't remember it's been years since i've seen it but um, I, I suspect it's in a cupboard at home um i'll have a ganders but uh 
It's not quite the happy ending I wanted today because it would have been really great to get it running. Um, but at the same time, it's 51 years old, I think 51. Uh, and it's been neglected for a really long time. So I think these things can be expected. Um, at least it wasn't a massive fire. It was dealt with very quickly. Um, yeah, I'm not disheartened by it. Um, it you know, I, I will make it better. It can only get better, hopefully. Um, although fiberglass does tend to burn quite well. So, um, you know, I'll try and avoid any more smoke escaping from wires. It's been that sort of month, hasn't it, with wires on things that, yeah. Um, although, it's, you know, this, this is more enjoyable than the wires on a Volvo. That, um, anyway. So, yes, hopefully at some point in the coming week, um, I've, I'll have everything I need one way or the six, either with illumination or, or you know, keep it old school, whatever. And um, it will burst into life, I hope. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.